Okay, <laughs> hello everybody. It's Miss Willow. Hi, can you see me? Hello, yes. This right here behind me is my new magnificent, huge butterfly net cage. But it's not for butterflies, it's for moths, as you know me. So, I have all my little caterpillars in here and they are having such a good time and it's time to feed my little bees. Here we go. <laughs> So I open it up like this. Let me actually zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the size. This is my hand. Oh my gosh, it is literally gigantic. But you open the zipper and very pleased with the product other than the crinkling of this um, front to look in. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Oh, the silkworms are trying to, do you see the silkworms, this one? Wanted to, they're fairly small. They're very, very baby, baby, tiny. I just need to put this up here. Somewhere up here. Give me a moment. The lid has to go woo, right on top so that it doesn't fall down on me while I'm working. I have it set way above me. Oh my gosh, it fell down again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Give me one moment, please. I just gotta throw that up there and hope that it stays. Please stay. Thank goodness it worked. There's a couple little stains on the back that I'm trying to get out currently, but um, this is my little place for them. I made a little fairy house and it has a crib, like legitimately a wooden little crib. I made them a bed, even though they don't really like to use it that much. I have, I believe, variegated cutworms. I know everybody hates cutworms. Oh, you want attention. He wants attention. Hey, you get attention. There you go. But I have little mats down. I have little toy play area with buttons and stuff. And you want the button? You want the button? Oh, oh do you? Do you? Do you want the button, little baby? Yes, yeah, so my silkworms are fairly small. <laughs> I hope they'll grow soon. But, um... It is time to feed them. Yes, they have a tiny, adorable fairy broom. And whatever this little walnut-looking cradle <laughs> is. But it's time to feed them. I have this plate of food. And I do have some mulberry that I'm going to probably want to mix up and rehydrate so that they can also have that as an option because they like to eat mulberry leaves. Although mine have lost interest in eating their original food the moment I gave them a large variety of other things. You see, you can see one of my cutworms found an old, older piece of carrot and he is going nuts. <laughs> um, hmm, what else? Little tiny, this, I, I, yeah, I think this is birch tree. Birch tree has a little dark bump on his tail. This one does not. You're not birch tree. I don't think you are. I don't think you are. One of them gets specifically really happy to see me and spins silk all over <laughs> my hand every single time I pick him up. I do want to find and show you guys. I have some gigantic caterpillars here. These aren't silkworms. Not the, the white ones are. The ones that look like birch tree bark. These aren't, he's massive. I have some really, really, really big caterpillars. They're shy, they're really shy, but when they're crawling, oh my gosh, they're huge. I also put, and I'm monitoring it to make sure nobody hurts them. My chrysalises are in here, my pupas. They're my little cocoons, whatever you wanna call them. People call them different things, it seems. I like to call them chrysalises, even though that's more of like a butterfly term, I believe, because it sounds prettier and I want people to think moths are pretty and beautiful because they are. Those two big things in the leafy looking substance is luna moths, I believe, to have a male and female so that hopefully they will continue the process of caterpillars, all that wonderful things. Oh, he finally uncurled. Hello, baby. Hi, you little silly. Let's get this little piece of hair out of there. That's not nice. Isn't that not nice? Mm -hmm. Isn't it silly? Mm -hmm. The silly, silly. Oh, don't be sassy. I'm recording you. I'm filming. 
Oh, don't be sassy on the camera. That's not nice. But they literally, they literally frump around. You can see they're hobbling. Like he's just frumping, if that's a word. <laughs> silly, silly, silly little thing. But yeah, they have a little bed. They have a thing. I think it holds like, I don't even know. I think it's some kind of like a cooking utensil or kitchen utensil. This thing. But I find that they love to climb on that because it's kind of like lattice, you know, that's perfect for them. So I use something like that and, you know, they have a lot of fun with it. It's like a jungle gym, you know. I have a little dish of water here. Of course, it seems to have dried up. I have to give more. <laughs> um, today, it's, all, it's only morning. I have to take care of them again, give them food, I'm trying to find that giant, giant one. Let me see. Where is he? <laughs> I have little doily mats as like step stools. This is kind of like a false fairy house for them. It's so precious. I don't even know what to say. But let's see. Hi! I see you. you. I see you. He wants food. Oh? Does somebody want food? Here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Here, 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 here. Stand up, stand up, stand up. They're, they're very clumsy, it seems. Very clumsy. But they'll be very happy that they have the carrot. Right, guys? They'll be very happy. You playing with the little spool? That's adorable. Here, come here. Come here. That's adorable. You are way too precious. Here, you can keep playing. <laughs> they're eating. That is so cute. They're literally eating together. Two different species coexisting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here you go. They like to make lots of silk everywhere. So when I pick them up, sometimes I gotta be really, really careful that I'm not stealing the silk from their bodies because they will make a strand. <clears throat> Mind my <laughs> awful voice this morning, but they will make a strand like a little spider web and it'll get really stuck to them. And I gotta be really, really, really careful that I don't hurt them when I pick them up because they will attach that silk. Just like this one's a little bit harder to pull. I, they attach that silk to kind of like what they're standing on and it makes it really difficult to be gentle enough. Oh, is it? Mmm, carrot, look at that! Baby likes the carrot! Sorry, my video quality is so grainy. <laughs> I never like that. <laughs> Oh, you too. How cute. How cute. This one wants a little. There you go. They seem to love attention. Oh, I also have a little green one. I'm really, 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 really excited about all of these. And I'm hopefully getting some more hornworms soon. You know, the um, manduka moths. Beautiful. Gosh, absolutely beautiful. I love it. I need more. I need more Manduka moths. It's, it's just the way it is. I don't have any more right now. So, you know, the last one was Ula. Very, very, very heartbreaking scenario, but I'm ready to see another moth that resembles her. And it's really hard. It's going to be really hard, but I'm... Already getting more uh, hornworm caterpillars. And hopefully they'll take really well to here. And hopefully they don't try and chew the sides. I put these in here for a matter of a couple hours just to monitor. See, oh, are they going to chew through the side? It, they have not yet. They, they hang on it. Mine don't have an interest. I can't say that if you try to put caterpillars in this tent or a tent like this that they won't chew it. Not saying that, but mine haven't. But I'm monitoring them every single day. The moment somebody does something they're not supposed to, I'll, I'm probably going to be changing it up um, ASAP. <laughs> but they seem to be happy. And I love this design because if I have the big moths in here, if I have big moths, they'll be able to hang while I have like a feeder in here and most big moths won't be eating at all. Um, sadly, they can't eat. They don't have mouths. They don't have the digestive system to, you know, they don't have a mouth. <laughs> so how are they going to eat? Their purpose in life, sadly, is to find a mate and continue the process of more caterpillars. Sadly, it's a very terrible thing. Like Luna moths, 
big moths like Cecropia silk moths, which I'm hoping to aim to get soon. Or um, I think Polyphemus moth also doesn't eat or drink. So those won't live more than like a week or two max. And you know what? But their caterpillars are freaking massive. Like I, <laughs> if you see online, if you saw a picture of a Cecropia silk moth caterpillar in someone's hand, Oh my god, that's like, I can't believe, it's like a ball python. <laughs> so, such a big caterpillar. So if I ever have something that's such a big caterpillar, well, you know, I have a space for them now that's like bigger than my own head. It's bigger than my own body. I could probably crumple myself up in there and fit. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyways, <laughs> this is my new moth nursery. No more for now of that little glass container, or rather a huge glass container in my opinion, but <clears throat> this is so much better. I might even for the hornworms put a plate of dirt in here so that they can dig. I'll figure something out. I don't have them yet, but I'll figure something out. I'll make sure they work. <laughs> and have a great day, everybody. Silkworms, say bye-bye, babies. I'm missing them. Say bye. Sillies, say bye. Do do. Do you like it? Oh, they're more interested in eating. <laughs> okay, bye guys. See you soon. And feel free to put comments and questions in the comment. Comments and questions. Questions in the comments. I might try and get to them. I'm looking to make more like FAQ type videos in the beginning of stuff. I have a mailbox now, a little cute Christmassy mailbox theme thing that I can write little comments and I'm excited to use it. So leave your comments. <laughs>